إِنَّ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا رَبُّنَ اللَّهِ No doubt about it, those who declared our master is Allah. Seems like a pretty simple statement. Our master is Allah. It's not a simple statement. You're not just saying our creator is Allah. Or the one we worship is Allah. You're calling him your Rabb. Our Rabb is Allah. Rabb is a mun'im. Rabb is someone who does favors for you you don't deserve. And keeps giving you what you don't deserve. That's the first meaning of Rabb. So Allah is one for us who will give me more than I deserve. And He will keep giving me more than I deserve. And mun'im also means the one who gives in'am, meaning the one who makes things easy. He's the one who's going to keep making things easy for me. That's who He is to me. I've declared that when I called him Rabb, Al-Mun'im. Wal-Murabbi, he's the one who is going to make sure that I continue to grow, that I continue to progress, that I'm not going to stay in place. If I'm in a problem, he's going to allow me to grow out of that problem. If I'm in a state of weakness, he will give me the strength, like a little blade turns into a tree, he'll give me the strength to navigate, overcome the weakness that I have. This is Al-Murabbi. وَالْقَيِّمْ The one who's gonna make sure I don't fall apart. Just because you're ensuring something is growing, doesn't mean you're not taking care of the problem. You know, you can build a building, and you're building more and more floors, but the foundation's falling apart. The whole thing's gonna collapse. Allah will hold me in place, take care of me, and not let me collapse. He's my Rabb. وَالْقَيِّمْ وَالسَّيِّدْ And He is in charge. He's in charge of what I do. He's taken total authority over me. I'm not in charge anymore. Again, maybe imagery will help you understand this. If you are bad at swimming, and you find yourself in the middle of the ocean, and you're splashing and doing whatever you can, and nothing's helping. Water keeps going up your nose and in your mouth, and nothing seems to be helping, and you're getting exhausted. And until you realize there's someone holding you from underneath, you just need to relax and just let go. And he's just keeping you floating. He's not going to let you drown. When you let go, that's actually Rabbun Allah. Our master is Allah. Whatever struggle, storm I'm going through, He's not gonna let me drown. He's holding me in place. Those who openly declare that, they acknowledge that they are not in control of their situation. They acknowledge that they cannot control other people's opinions. They acknowledge they cannot control what any of the creation of Allah does. Some of you spend your days and nights thinking about how this person is going to harm me. What are they going to say? What are they going to do? What are they going to think? This is what's going on in your head all the time. You're preoccupied with it. And when you accept Rabbun Allah, you let that go. Because the one who's protecting you, and the one who's keeping you in place, and the one who's going to navigate you through the storm, you've declared you've handed it over to him. You've let go. Rabbun Allah. And that declaration is so powerful, it's a kind of freedom. There are so many of us who make so many decisions in our life. As a matter of fact, so many of our emotions in our life are controlled by other people. They're controlled by other people. How sad you are, how angry you are, how hurt you are. We're letting other people control how we feel. And when you really truly declare, my master is Allah, the power creation has over you disappears.